Oh, hi there. Welcome to Mechanical Mastery. Mechanical Mastery is a technical mod pack with lots of um, technology mods like mechanism, thermal expansion, industrial foregoing, and this mod pack focuses on automation for you to progress through the tiers. Now, in this mod pack, every raw resources has a EMC value. As you can see, the wood has 32 EMC value. And if I break this dirt, one dirt has a one EMC value. Now, to progress through the tiers, you need to trade in your items using this a transmutation table. And then with enough points, you can buy new resources. So to start us off, let's go to tier one and claim our essentials. Next, we need to make cobblestone to get access to all the other ores. All right, we got our cobble. Now that we have all these ores, the next thing to do is to put them into the transmutation table to learn them. Copper, redstone, iron, I mean um, nickel, copper, clay, bauxite, and I believe you can also put in samples. There you go. You can put in the cobble as well. Oh, and the coal. Now, anytime we need an ore, we can just pull this from the transmutation table and it will um, take from our points. Hello, I'm from the future. Here to save you from the boring tree farm stage of the mod pack. I know you're here not to see me chop trees for two hours. So let's skip right into the tier one automations. This is our tier one automation. We have our um, basic EMC links, three of these connected to a redstone furnace. Our basic mechanical essence is made using copper rods, aluminum gear and iron gears. So each of these is processing one type of ore. This one's processing the bauxite or aluminum. This one's processing the iron for the iron gear. And this one's processing the raw copper. And we have three multi servo presses here. Um, the copper turns into a rod with the rod die, the iron turns into uh, gear with the gear working die, and the aluminum is also turning into gear with the gear working die. And then we have our auto crafter here, the sequential fabricator, turning it into the basic mechanical essence. And then we have our multi servo press turning the basic mechanical essence, turning the basic mechanical essence into the, the cube basic mechanical crystal. I'm going to deposit that back to the EMC link, which gives us essentially infinite um, points or, you know, until my power runs out, which is soon. That's basically tier one. We need to, I think I need to add two more of the, of the servo presses, the gear presses, because currently the rods are outputting twice as fast as the gears. It seems, yeah, look at that. So, we need to work on that eventually. Right now, I'm just gonna chop wood. I think I'm gonna make like a battery, a power battery type deal today. Okay, eight. Let's make the battery over here. Indeed. Okay, that's gonna power itself. And then the item pipe will go out here. Like that. This left is input. Um, logs auto output at the back. Now that we have a steady flow of EMC points from our tier one automation, I decided to make an ore station for convenience. One iron, gold, copper, tin, and what else? What's like the common common ores? Nickel? Sure, let's go nickel because nickel is one of the outputs. Iron in the pulverizer has a chance of nickel, right? What is this? Gold in the pulverizer has a chance to give copper. Okay, that's good. Copper. If pulverized, has a chance to give gold. Nice. 
Nickel? Is that not how you write Nickel? Oh, Nickel. Nickel. Okay. Pulverizer has a sense of copper again. Okay. Um, tin. If pulverized, has a chance to give appetite. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three. Yeah, five. Okay. We're gonna have five stations, five pulverizers, five redstone furnaces. Is this filling up yet? 25, 16, 16. Okay. We'll do this thing. So, these basic EMC links are outputting ores, which is then feed, fed into the pulverizers. Um, the pulverizers have a chance of doubling the raw ore into dust. As you can see, we got two iron dust and a nickel. That um, dust is piped down into redstone furnaces down here, which then gets sent into our drawers. So. Anytime you want any ores, just punch it and we'll, we'll have it. It's a, more of an easy thing. Now, I would like to apologize for the next section because since we got the ore station now, I tried to automate the tier 2 production, tier 2 essence production, but I did not do a very good job explaining things. So, unfortunately, I don't have the machine anymore to explain to you here because it's very, it's very scuffed. You'll, you'll see. Take a look. So the coal is slow enough in or yeah the coal is slow enough that it lets me feed iron here which is good so i just need another redstone furnace here put this here make sure no input is on from the left above and output below input from above set that the nickels that block is called the multi servo press. Hi, I'm here to explain what I just did since this goober is lousy at his job. So, we're trying to make the components for our tier 2 essence, which requires invar and steel gears and bronze rods. This contraption makes both steel and invar gears. We have iron being smelted in this redstone furnace, which is then funneled into two induction smelters one for steel and one for invar. The nickel for the invar comes from this redstone furnace, which is then outputted into the multi servo press and turned into an invar gear. For steel, the iron is combined with cold coke in this induction smelter, and again, it is funneled into a multi servo press to be turned into a gear. Lastly, we have this contraption to make the bronze rods. With EMC, basic EMC links, and then, no, 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 induction smelter. Induction smelter. Multi server press, outputs on the left, inputs on the right, and the top. So, yeah, it's me again. We have copper and tin being smelted in these redstone furnaces, and then they'll be funneled into an induction smelter and be turned into bronze. Then the multi server press will process the bronze into rods. Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh. Okay, bye bye. Okay, this is the. Yeah, this is what we got for our first part. We got our tier 2, our scuffed tier 2 setup right now. Next episode, we're going to triple the gear, the aluminum gear and the iron gear um, production. We'll also triple the multi servo presses for the basic mechanical essences. And then we will unscuff the tier 2 production. Oh, yeah, episodes are going to be very different from my regular style of videos since this is a forged mod pack and then forged does not support um, replay mod. But anyway, yeah. Final, this is final goodbye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.